1995 Ford E250 van. The radius control or control arm bushings are bad and that back bolt there is an inch and seven eighths and you're going to require to have a very large tool air driven to get her loose. So after a little bit of work you take the three bolts off the radius arm this is on the passenger side you're going to take a grinder grind the bolts off they're welded on there so if you can see right there they're welded you're not going to be able to undo the nuts so you're going to have to cut them off and then uh, tap them through and then uh, with the grinder and then tap them through and then on the other side you're going to take the sawzall and cut the nut cut the bolts off and then you're going to tap them out and this will uh, you need to put a jack on it there just to kind of help with the weight there's no pressure and you're going to uh, lower it down and then put your new bushings in and you're going to have to go get some new bolts and you're going to run them the opposite direction so you're going to run the bolt from this side and then nut to the inside because up inside is your catalytic converter you don't have to take off your spring or your shock to replace those radius arm bushings so let's just uh, recap real quick Radius arm bushings are bad, they're making a noise, boom, boom, boom. This is the passenger side. The original nut bolts that were here, the nuts were welded to this bracket. Uh, you're going to have to take a grinder, cut them off, push them through. The other side, take the sawzall and cut the nuts, the heads off there. And then push the register bolts off, throw them away, go to the store. These are uh, number eights. Grade eights, they're four and a half inches long, big washer, big uh, nut and lock washer on the back side. New bushings put in, this goes all the way down, you torque all the way down, new bushing set up. And as you can see, the spring is still on, the shock is still on, and the brake and the rotor net's just sitting here on the, on the log, on the stump, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and that's it. Now this is the... Uh, driver side or the passenger side and uh, from what I can tell the the passenger the driver side is supposed to be a lot easier so all right uh, inch and an eighth leave that on leave that on just cut these off uh, get the tension off of it that's why it's lowered because the spring doesn't have any weight on it and this once this is this this bottle jack is here to help hold the weight up of the arm it's actually kind of just there now and uh, this will once these are cut you tap each of those out this will just slowly drop down and you can make sure you undo this first before you do all of this this first then this get this loose busted loose and all that and then start working cutting these off so hey twin Ford uh, twin I-beam suspension for the Ford 1995 E250 van.